Prince Harry has a ghostwriter. Let's talk about this. Hello, and welcome to another Sussex podcast, the show where we discuss the UK royal family with an emphasis on Harry and Meghan, Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I am your host, G.K. Hammond. Today, we are days away from the release of Harry's book, Spare, on January 10th, 2023. There's been much discussion about the book in the week leading up to it. There have been promos of Harry being interviewed by uh, Anderson Cooper, Tom Bradbury, uh, Michael Strahan, and Stephen Colbert. There have been unauthorized excerpts of the book in the tabloids. There has been speculation about what the book contains. The week before has been chaotic and frenzied. Let us step back and discuss the process of writing a memoir, particularly with Harry's ghostwriter, J.R. Moringer. Whenever one hears an author discuss a memoir, they are often asked whether writing was cathartic. They don't always say yes. For some, writing a book is like opening your veins. Why write a memoir? if it will cause the author pain. I'm sure Harry will answer this type of question in his interviews leading up to the release of the book. I'm sure he will answer this question in the preface of the book. We have discussed this topic before in an episode called Prince Harry's Book, a retrospective of British royal memoirs. In that episode, we discuss why other royal rebels write books. Essentially, they all say that everyone else is talking about me, so here is my narrative. They also are hyper-aware that this is an historical document, and they want posterity to know why they were upset with the crown or why the crown might have been upset with them. Furthermore, there's an added pressure, one might assume, for Harry as he's around the age of his mother when she unfortunately left us too soon. He's all too aware that waiting until you are older might mean that you never write the book that you plan to write. Given the medieval strategies of his opponents in that 1,200-year-old institution, one would not fault him for thinking this way, if indeed he is. Moving away from the morbid, let's turn to something a bit more hopeful. Let's turn now to the ghostwriter of Spare. Um, I might have missed it, but news outlets from the Toronto Star, the Evening Standard, Salon.com, Yahoo News have all been talking about this ghostwriter since 2021 when the book was first announced. I only discovered it this year, in 2023. Famous people often hire a ghostwriter in the same way that they hire a stylist. They could dress themselves, but they would also like expert help. The helper for Harry is J.R. Moringer. Who is J.R. Moringer? He is a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist and author. He has written his own memoir, The Tinder Bar, released in 2005 and made into a movie in 2021, directed by George Clooney. You might recall that Clooney attended Harry's wedding. The director might have made the suggestion of Moe Ringer to the prince. The Tinder Bar follows the uh, author as a boy who was effectively fatherless so he would try to find father figures in his uncle's bar. One can start to see parallels with Harry's life of a disappointing father and trying to find a family elsewhere. Moringer also has helped Andre Agassi, the tennis champion, to write Open. In his book, Agassi reveals that he did not like tennis, 
he did not choose tennis, that he was forced to do so by his father, who did everything including allegedly giving his children uh, sports-enhancing medicines. Agassiz claims that his father loves him but could have parented in a different way. Of course, you can see some parallels here with Harry, also with the disappointing father and saying so publicly. The similarities don't stop there. If you look at the book cover of Open and the book cover of Spare, both of them have a close-up of the author's face and a one-word title in a November 11th, 2009 article with the New York Times called A Team, But Watch How You Put It by Charles McGrath, Moringer and Agassiz explain their collaboration. Agassiz was at first completely locked, stilted, resistant, halting, his, says Moringer. His memory was crystalline about tennis matches, but not about relationships. He had not reached any conclusions about them and could not make connections. After Moringer read psychology books, he was able to help the author loosen up and reveal his past, working as a kind of amateur therapist. One can imagine that Prince Harry also loosened up or was already loosened by the time he met Moringer, what with Harry's years of therapy. So perhaps the collaboration between the ghostwriter and the prince was relatively smooth, or at least one hopes so. Moringer's process with Agassiz was to record hundreds of hours of conversations. Then the ghostwriter would spend many hours pretending to be the subject. He said sometimes it was a jolt to the system when the real man would show up. Then he would go over the transcripts of the tapes that were made together with the author, and and they would create a narrative out of the thousands of pages that they made from the tapes. Moringer said that the best lines were almost word for word from the transcripts. The ghostwriter also insisted that his name not appear on the cover nor on the title page because, as he says, the midwife does not go home with the baby. He insists that it is the author's memoir, not our memoir, not a memoir as told to. It is rather the author's accomplishment, and he makes the final choices. Meaning the author makes the final choices. One assumes that Moringer feels the same way about Spare, as his name does not appear on the cover of Harry's book. Writing a book is not easy. Moringer has discussed this in a keynote speech for Book Expo America on June 7th, 2012, which you can see on YouTube, Mo Ringer describes a video of a woman who plans to skydive for the first time. She seems to change her mind and grips the sides of the airplane door. She is strapped in tandem to her instructor, who has decided that she is not allowed to change her mind. The instructor pries the woman's fingers off the door and pushes the two of them out of the airplane. The woman then tries to pummel her instructor as if he had just stolen her purse. Momoringer says that this is the best metaphor for writing a book. Meaning, you think you want to do it, at some point you change your mind, something pushes you anyway, and you fight the whole time. Writing a memoir is not easy. Harry continually surrounds himself with compassionate people who can empathize with his struggles, including a ghostwriter who has had his own family struggles and dealt with them in public. Given Mo Ringer's history of eliciting from the author his deepest secrets, even the ones he may have kept from himself, Spare will no doubt be Prince Harry's most revealing project yet. I look forward to it. Thank you for listening to another Sussex podcast.